I wish you guys could feel this nice fresh air. Dry, about 60 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. A little creamy up in the air, but not bad. It is absolutely a flawless day. Got a robin there. Fluttering away. Yeah, so what's going on with the greenhouse? The uh, garlic is looking pretty good. The garlic scapes are starting to come up on it. We'll wait till they get up and curl, you know, get a little taller. And uh, some of this ground is extremely poor over here. They may not actually produce anything. But uh, horseradish up there is doing good. Good, good season so far. Got to do some trimming now with the weed, weed eater by the locks. So... Anyway, got a lot to do. Always a lot to do. Let's go on over to the number two greenhouse. I'll show you what we got left. So we're getting down, you know, San Mazzano's. We've only got two packs left. Um, unless those are San Mazzano's. I don't know if they are. No, those are Morton's. We got a lot of different varieties. But these singles that have not, enough room for their roots to grow, man, oh, man. You can't stop them from growing in the greenhouse. They've grown probably a foot in the last week. Um, they're still good to plant, but they get hard to keep water on. And they're getting to that point, you know. But we don't have a lot of them left. I mean, and this is going to be a busy weekend. This is a weekend after Memorial, so a lot of people should be putting in gardens. In this part of the country, it's not that late. Um... People try to get them in Memorial Day, but some people don't. So it'll be a good weekend this weekend. Um, got some little cukes coming. Look at all these little sweet meats growing. Man, oh man, they are loaded with tomatoes. Look down in there, huh? Got some color coming. So... And these here, if you don't pick them, within four or five days, they go to hell. So we actually sell these. We sell the plants and we sell the tomatoes off them. We, uh, we just go through and pick them every about three days. And, uh, and they are pretty prolific. So you can see this one here is dry. I didn't water last night. We was transplanting out in the field until eight o'clock when we got done we'd we'd pretty much call holla uncle you know it's we were tired so we just went went to bed so i gotta get doing some watering peppers are the same as the tomatoes they're growing you know <laughs> unless you spray a chemical on them a lot of people um you know they wonder how come like a lot of greenhouses you know the stuff is always like 10 12 inches high or you know just right well, they spray them with a chemical um, one of the names is B9 uh, there's other chemical names too out there but it's basically a growth inhibitor I guess you'd call it and it stops the growth for about three weeks and so if we would have, would have wanted to put chemicals on these which we don't um, we could have stopped them at the optimum height but we just let them grow it is what it is some people complain about it but we're not going to spray the chemicals so anyway we sprayed the chemicals just once back about 26 seven years ago when we was shipping some flowers we had to stop them at a certain height that they wouldn't fit on the truck and flowers didn't matter you know we were trying to hold them down to like six inches so we could stack them in the shelving because we were going to mass with them back then we did spray them one time, and that was the only time we've ever used it. So we don't use it on the vegetable plants. So, anyway. Yeah, yeah, stuff's looking real nice out here. This is probably lights a feather. Yeah, yeah, pretty light. They definitely need water. So, I love these uh, rhodochitans, they're called. Ain't that a crazy flower, huh? They're uh, kind of kind of different, and they climb like a son of a gun. We have to keep taking them off 
and draping the stuff down. And these are Acerinas. Acerinas are beautiful too. The only problem with an Acerina is it soaks water like. I mean, these will be dry, every one of them, every day. But anyway, I'm gonna get to watering, guys. Beautiful hollyhocks. Only got, I think, three left. So, but Carol just took over watering for me. But yeah, we got beautiful color right now. So, anyway, I'm gonna go lay some plastic. One of the neatest things we grew new this year is this Tuscany basil. How about that on a hamburger bun, huh? Beautiful stuff. Smells wicked nice. Yeah, if they ever come out with smell vision So anyway. All the far-fetched crap that they've come out with. You think about it, back in the 50s and 60s, you know, they all had those make-believe cell phones and all that other stuff, you know, that didn't exist yet. They've all come out with them. Well, why haven't they come out with smell vision I don't understand it. That's one of the things that you would think they would. But anyway, it's, uh, I don't know what it is, 8, 30, 9 o'clock. So, we've got all three of these houses watered. She's doing the last one, and then she'll come out and do the outside stuff, which is going good this year. The uh, benches here are doing good. I can't wait. Now there's two weeks that Swiss chat would be big enough I have a batch. So, yeah, that's just for our personal consumption. That's the good stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna lay a piece of plastic. I'm not gonna film it, I did it yesterday. Um, anybody new to the channel, I'm Tim. That's Carol in the other house. Yeah, I guess I didn't show her, but she really don't like to be on the camera. So anyway, that's all right. But we'll go over here, I'll get a piece of plastic laid. And I think once I get this next piece of plastic laid, I'm gonna punch it on the top only for the eggplant. And then I will Put some gas in that John Deere. She ran out right there. We'll get that old girl started and uh, harrow up over there where the potatoes are going to go. Then we'll get out the John Deere B. We'll mark some rows and see if we can't get some potatoes planted today. Put the same chemical down on potatoes as you do eggplant for the Colorado potato people. So I want to do them both at the same time. So that's why I need this last row right here done. Uh, eggplant likes new ground. But those are the beans that we transplanted. I know it's crazy to transplant beans, but they come early. And uh, the other ones you can see, a stove all the hell. The geese did that. Um, they just went down through just, you know, with their beaks, just they stove them all up. But we did tomatoes last night. Um, these are Ruby Dawns. They have to be staked, which they make a nice tomato. So we'll deal with the staking. And then from the little gap down is Mountain Fresh. And on the very bottom is Acorn. And we'll put on this plastic here, we'll put the eggplant up top and the more acorn on the bottom. And then we'll put our cucumbers and a couple of other things, uh, spaghetti squash, and I don't know what else she wants over there. But the potatoes will go over there on that end. That's where they were last year. I know they, you should alternate them and stuff, but anyway that's where we're going to put them um i'm not going to try them in that other field they got nothing to fumigate for the uh, nematodes and we tried growing over there and they just devastated it so we'll stay over here it's more gravelly and they seem to do better it's the next day and it is absolutely beautiful a uh, little slight breeze out of the northeast or northwest i don't know which way it's coming from but uh, come out of the north there somewhere. Just dumped uh, 10 gallons into the John Deere A. Gonna uh, see if that'll fire up this morning. I'm just gonna harrow this 100 foot wide by 200 foot long stretch one more time. It's quite hard on this side, so I'm gonna try to loosen it up a little before we do the potatoes. And uh, after we get that done, it'll be lunchtime. 
then we'll go eat lunch i gotta do some quick banking before 12 up in bridgeton for carol and uh, i get back we'll uh, start to be well i guess we'll cut the potatoes first then we'll start to be and uh, we'll make the rows and plant them so she ran out of fuel right here right in the cut the other day but we had done a lot of work with it okay let's give the old girl a choke here first thing in the morning and see if she goes one choke <coughs> take probably 15 20 minutes and I'll be done goes right along just setting over halfway just had to kill a damn picket wing Boy, what a beautiful day, though. Right now, the wind's coming out of the north, I guess, but it's pretty nice. I'll bring you back in a while. Now we moved on to the second field.
is a big rock under that little hill. Probably ought to dig it out with a backhoe. It's always fun, Harold, when you got a little bit of green, it makes you feel like you're doing something. the other day, so that's all taken care of. sound good when they're running but you know when it's quiet it's nice too. Anyway, we got her all done. This is the other field. Still got to do up the other side but there's a bunch of rocks we got to pick first. So I don't know what time it is but it's got to be close to lunch. So anyway, we'll do something else. Oh the doggies are going to have fun. Got their pool in here. Diesel, look at him. He's been throwing dirt in here. Ugh. Diesel. He said, Daddy, give me water. He loves running water. Move it back a little closer to the tree, get a little more shade. You wanna play, huh? You wanna play? You're crazy. Ow. Mm. She, don't, she don't play gentle. Ow, god damn it. I'm gonna take that away from her if she keeps on. What do you think, old Diesel, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Are you gonna be nice now? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. hmm? You gotta be nice and gentle. Uh. You don't know how to be nice and gentle, do you? No, it's that redhead gene that you got. You're crazy. <laughs> this dog was born to play. She plays a little rough, though. I know, Diesel. She's rough. Ow. Come on. Diesel. Hmm? Want to get in again? Nope, he don't want to get in. And she's just being on, right? I'm not going to take that. If you try to take it, she'll bite you. Or knock the hell out of you. But Diesel, stop it. 
I don't really give them hell too much though. This is their domain. If they want to dig it up, they can dig it up. Now we've got the seed potatoes cut. It was a wicked busy day. Helped Carol most of the day. Didn't get any more field work done. Had some visitors, you know, one of those days. You ready to go in for the night, huh? Yeah, let's go in. Call it a day. Come on, Lox. Yeah. Hey, look at Mox go. Yep. Two kids that are nothing but trouble. So, anyway, take care, everybody. Keep safe.